I thought I was. There we go. Please, please, please sleep. Please sleep. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the long awaiting video for 2020. It is all the makeup I have used up in a year for 2020. I thought I did better than I did because this bag was in entirely full. Th that bag was completely full and I definitely thought I was I did better. <laughs> um, I do know I had pan on a bunch of stuff last year. So that is maybe why I was tricked into thinking that I had a lot more empties than I have. Hopefully I can do better in 2021. I will say for myself that I was not using makeup for like two months out of the year. So this is basically for 10 months of makeup wearing maybe even nine <laughs> because I stopped wearing consistently makeup consistently in mid-September when I went on maternity leave and a few weeks later I got my baby girl and then I didn't wear makeup again until like November a few times in October and November but it was not until the, like December that I wore makeup more regularly than the last two months but I have a new year's resolution that I will try to wear makeup as often as I can um, and not be as lazy <laughs> before this intro gets too long I will share all the makeup that I have used up in 2020 right now I have it laid here beside me as you can see um, in categories and I will go through them one by one She has slept for like an hour. Please sleep more. Okay, I guess we will talk later when she is sleeping again. Otherwise, I will just bring her here and we can do it while she's here. <laughs> this is so much better quality than on my computer where you are sitting. So let's just go through these products real quick. A few videos ago, I posted my uh, empties and uh, declutters for December, and I showed you guys these liquid liners uh, and my gel liner. And I was really sad about uh, decluttering them and not counting them done, mostly because my eyeliner was almost done, as you can see. And I have used like half of these uh, glitter liners. Some of you, or most of you, um, that have commented on that video said that I should count them done because I got so much use out of them and they were basically done. So I am going to count them in uh, this video. So they are my Metal Flash Metallic Liners from W7 and my L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner. So I have four more eyeliners to my tally. So I have more than 50 products used up in total. You can see all the numbers and everything down below. She is sleeping outside, if you are wondering. Let me just cut you off uh, this bad quality of uh, video. And I'm sorry, this is a mess because there's like three different looks in this video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video anyway. <laughs> Bye! Okay, we are just going to move on in this video because apparently she wasn't going to sleep by herself yesterday. Um, so I didn't have time to come back. Grab a snack and a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you like to drink. It's going to be a long one, I think. I'll try to make it as short as possible. I have used up three primers and I actually was so close at finishing one more, but that will be done here in a few months, I think. The first one that I have here is from the Makeup Library. It's a Primer Protect Bubble Spill Primer. This is the mattifying primer and this was really really great. I think they lasted me about three months, a little bit more each. So that is like average for me to go through a primer in like three months. That one is really good and I will buy that again. I don't know if it is cheaper than this Essence one, but it's kind of the same 
price range. This is the Essence Prime Plus Studio Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer with black clay. This one was really great as well. I'm pretty sure I used it when I was pregnant and my skin did clear up while I was pregnant so maybe it was this, maybe it wasn't, maybe it didn't work. I did find this mattifying and made my makeup last longer. Then we have the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. I do love this one so much but it is like three times the price of the essence and the, ma the makeup library primer and i do go through it just as fast i just don't think it is the top priority over the essence or the makeup library one just because they are cheaper in price and if they work the same they're great <laughs> I don't remember using this up, but apparently I did. It is the shade adjusting drops from the body shop in the lightning shade. And these drops from the body shop, they don't change up the formula or consistency or anything like that in your foundation or the, the finish of the foundation. It just lightens it and that was really, really nice. I don't think I will buy this again just because I have found a light enough foundation to mix in with my darker foundation. And that means I also have one category eliminated from my makeup inventory, which is really, really nice. <laughs> Foundations, I have used up four, and that is pretty exciting. Okay, the one that isn't W7 is this one. This is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish uh, 25 Hour Nude SPF 20 Skin Perfecting Medium Coverage foundation in 100 ivory this is not cruelty cool free so that is also why i'm really excited to have this done and out of my collection and as you can see i do scrape everything out of my foundations this was a great foundation but i did go through it rather quickly i think obviously i won't buy it again because it's not cruelty cool free but it is a great foundation if you don't care about that then we have the w7 very vegan hd foundation in the Jade Sand Beige. This is one of my favorite foundations from W7. This is a vegan line which is really really great and I love this formula. It's like a satin finish and it has medium and buildable coverage. I will buy these again for sure. I am working on one right now and wearing another shade right now. Or is it the same shade? I don't remember but it is this foundation that I'm wearing today. Then I have finished two of these. The Face Fantasy matte finish foundation from W7 and there are two different shades one of them is the shade sand and then I have the shade buff the shade buff is the shade that I mix in with darker foundations because this is the palest foundation I have ever found and it is really inexpensive and really really good it has a good coverage and it is matte but it's not drying on your skin which I think is a really really good thing about a matte foundation okay then we have concealers and i have finished between five to seven concealers i'm sure that i've only finished these two here in the middle but 2020 was the year that i have finished this concealer palette and i actually really like it oh ew there's a hair in that one Disgusting. This concealer palette comes with two correctors with a yellow concealer and a peachy concealer. Two darker ones and two lighter ones. These are really nice for spot concealing and uh, uh, correcting your under eyes because I have really dark circles under my eyes and these was really really great to use in that way. I will not buy it again just because the, it has uh, darker concealers as well and I'm not using those darker concealers just because I'm pale. Really pale. A non culture free item that I have gotten out of my collection this year is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm really sad the MAC isn't uh, culture free because they make really great products. And this Pro Longwear Concealer is really, really great as well. I don't want to hassle and get the top off and everything like that to get the last bit of product. I don't really care uh, anymore. I just really wanted it gone. And it is. And I'm really, really happy about it. A similar product from W7 is the Hideout Full Cover Concealer. I really, really like this, but I didn't like the pump. This was more annoying than the MAC Pro Longwear pump because you had to be even more careful because this is a little bit thinner than the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So that means you get even more product of this out at a time. If you only want to use a little bit under your eyes, you are going to waste a little bit of product when you use this because 
it is so hard to pump out if you're not careful. I did manage to get most of it out, more than that I would have done from the MAC Polar one. They both have 9 milliliters of product, but I do think you can get more out of the W7 one than the, w, uh, the MAC one. The last concealer that I have used up in 2020 is a Makeup Revolution one. It is the Concealer Define in C1, I believe. Yeah. C1 is the lightest shade, obviously, if it is not going to be the white one. And as I've just said before with the foundations, I am pale. Um, so this is a perfect shade <laughs> to highlight under my eyes. I do think I can get away with um, some of them, like C2 or 3 or something like that. But I really like C1 for under my eyes. Um, and it is a great mixer if I have darker found, uh, concealers, which I do. So... Yeah, I like mixer shades at the moment because I want to use stuff up and not waste it. I have used up two powders last year. The first one is the W7 Flawless Face Loose Color Correcting Mineral Powder. This one is really, really great and I did really love it. My issue was that these squares was really hard uh, to get product out of. So to get the last product out of the squares, if I couldn't get it out of the sifter, I needed to pull peel off the very disgusting sticker um, and then you can pop out these uh, plastic thingies. Sometimes I do miss a loose powder but now I'm used to the pressed powders again. I don't really miss a loose powder and get it all over my clothes. Then we have the W7 Selfie Powder which I really really like. I don't think you can buy it anymore but I would definitely consider if I could find it. When I'm sitting here talking about it, I know I repressed it with something else. One or two powders from the NYX highlight and uh, contour palette. Because if those are counting, I used up four powders, which is really great. Okay, the last face product I have is a blush and I used up... Oh. The last face product I used up is a cream blush from uh, the Balm, Balm Jewelry Rockstar palette. After I have finished this cream uh, blush, which was a bright wet run, <laughs> I was really, really proud. Um, but then I don't have any more cream blushes in my collection. I moved on to a lipstick palette that I tried to pan some off in um, 2020 as well. And I have used that for my cream blushes and I am today as well. I really really like that actually. I have used up one eye primer and this is a great eye primer. What I don't like is the packaging. As you can see the lids are just awful. I don't really, I don't think this is the right lid actually because I had multiples of these and I changed the lids when they were going. You. But this is the transparent one, with, which is called Neutral. Yeah, it is just a normal standard eye primer and I will not buy it again just because of the packaging. Okay, I have five <laughs> eye bases or uh, cream shadows in here. I'm really surprised. Okay, the first one that isn't in like a liquid shadow uh, tube wand thing, it is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Nude. This one right here. I don't remember using this up last year. That is so fun. <laughs> but apparently I did. It was. It must have been in like the beginning of the year because I don't remember it. Uh, but it yes, it's obviously done. It was like a very pigmented, beige yellow shade. Um, it was really stark when it, I put it up to my brows, but it was a really nice base. And in the end, I just used it as an eye primer just because I really wanted it gone. I didn't prefer it that way. I really just preferred underneath my shadows and just blend it up to my brow bone. I'm gonna buy that again and I can't if I even wanted to. I used up two of these W7 eyeshadow cream. This one is called Copper Pot and this one is called Gilded Cage. I really like these ones. I can't find them on the W7 website so I don't think they carry them anymore. Um, but I really really did like these. I will not buy them again if I could and I don't think I will buy a cream shadow again uh, either. I'm just using glitter glue now. I don't really care for a cream shadow, it is just an extra step. I have always liked a cream base underneath my 
eyeshadows but nowadays eyeshadows is they are getting better a better quality that you don't need a base other than a glitter glue which is the case with these two as well these are the nyx lingerie eye tints i have two shades here as well i have whimsy and gold gold standard I really like these as well. These were a little bit liquid, more liquidy and these would uh, crease and cake up if I didn't have my eye primer underneath. So for that matter I would buy the shadow dreams over these ones but I don't think you can get these anymore either. I have two brow products. I have a brow gel and then a wax. I have the W7 Brow Sweep Grooming Crayon and this is the shade Light Brown. It is like something you can twist up and down and it comes in it's, it's, it is formed like a crayon. So when you got the tip down, it was like a block. It's, it was really hard to use on your brows. I do have medium sized brows, so that was okay. But yeah, so I just uh, sharpened it in my sharpener and I used it up. And maybe I lost a little bit of product that way, but I really liked it and it lasted forever anyways. One of my favorite brow gels, is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. It has the tiniest wand if you don't know it yet. I call mine done when they are getting dry. This is the darker shade in Brown New Brows. I will buy that again for sure. I have two eyeliners I have used up. One of them is a non cruelty free one and it is from Women London. It is the Saturate Waterproof Eye Definer and it is in the shade Rich Brown. It was creamy and it was pigmented and it lasted on my eyes. I could use it in my waterline, but I normally don't do that anymore. I just use it on my top lash line. It was really great and it did hold up really nicely. And yeah, I'm really sad that Women London isn't cool to free because they make really great products. The other one I finished just in the last week or something of 2020, it is the Love Line from W7. It's an eyeliner and stamp. And the stamp is like a heart and this is the tip of it. It has a really nice felt tip eyeliner. Um, so it was a really, really great one and I really did love it. But I will not buy again just because of the stamp. I have four single shadows here and they come from my Panda palette of 2020. One of them that isn't benefit eyeshadows is my Catrice. It's the absolute eye color, uh, what's it called? On the top of the matte Everest. It is a deep potted shade at some point. This was a light brown shade that um, I was going to say I really liked it as my crease color and tran uh, transition color, but it didn't really show up a little bit. And when it cracked in the middle of the year, I did replace it with some uh, some bronzer that I was using and I used it up that way. The other three, I will insert a picture here on the screen. It was like a beige shade and a satin rose gold shade and a satin taupe. And I'm just going to call them down, even though I have a little bit of each in my Panda palette for 2021 um, in the green shade. And yeah, I'm just going to call them down because they're not here anymore physically. So those four eyeshadows I have finished. I did finish off Creme Brulee in my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Did I finish more? I don't think so. I did Franken a lot this year. I finished four mascaras and two of each. <laughs> I have finished two of the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Less Extension Mascara. I have fallen in love with this mascara, but I have fallen in love with this mascara even though it's not waterproof and it will transfer if you get wet. <laughs> This one I will buy again as well. It is the Hey Friends Mascara from Noble Nordic. This one is so great as well. It is from a Danish YouTuber. She started her own brand a few years ago. And that is the brush on that one. It's like really flat and then very long bristles on each side. And the, that one is waterproof and it does define your lashes really well. A lip oil from the same brand Noble Nordic and it was like a turquoise one but it was clear on your lips. This one is called Freddy and it is really great and I do miss it a lot because it's really really great. I will buy it again when I get down in my lip uh, balm numbers. I have used up three lip liners and decluttered <laughs> quite a few. I did hope I had finished more 
apparently I haven't. One that is non culture free that I have used up it is the Maybelline Gigi Hadid collab. And this is in Torah, I want to say. Yeah, Torah. So it was like a nude one. Of the W7 Lip Twisters I have used up is the pink shade and the rust shade. These are my favorite lip liners of all time. They are inexpensive, they are creamy, they are long lasting, they are beautiful on your lips. They come in so many different colors and they're just really, really great. If you use them daily and all over your lips, you can't get through one in like a few months if you use them kind of daily. I will forever buy them again when I can because they are really, really great. And I do think they are prolonging your lipstick on your lips. And they're just comfortable. They're just really, really great. And they come with um, a sharpener in the end. I don't use that one because they are so thin, um, but they're great. My favorite sponge at the moment is the... My products are so dirty and they are full of cat hair. So Cat Mom and Mom Life right here. Um, it is the BH Cosmetics Pro sponge. Um, I really really like these and I do have a few in my stash already. Then we come to the kind of non-makeup products but at the same time I usually count them in here. I used up a base coat and a top coat. The base coat I have bought again it is the Essence Extreme Last base coat. This one is so great for my, my nails. My nails are so soft and sensitive I was going to say. They are cracking what is it called in, in english they are just very fragile and if i don't use a base coat and if i don't keep up with my nails i don't right now because i prioritize other things yeah my nails are chipping if i don't use this and uh, my nails were so great under my pregnancy and now they're like crap but my nail polish did last longer when I used this and they do still. The top coat that I used up is the 3D Gel Shine Top Coat from Devil 7. It says nail treatment here on the front but on the sticker it says 3D Gel Shine. It gave such a great shine and it did also prolong my nail polish. This lasted me like two years or something so that is a really great price tag and a really great top coat but in the end it just went gooby and it was so low so i just called it done i used up this sample of the chloe perfume this one right here that was like one use in it or something like that nothing special this one is an unknown perfume that i used up i got it from my mom a few years ago for new year's it's like a small gift she gifted me and john she has he has his own perfume but i used mine up it was really great I do miss this one and it lived in my handbag for several amount of time. We concluded in my November empties that I was going to call this done even though it's not. Um, just because I have worked all year on it and yeah, just because I have worked so hard on it. This is the Our Moment perfume from One Direction and it was so great. It was like a sweet scent and I bought this on clearance um, when I lived in Germany for a year. Um, so yeah, it's just really sad. I used up a small... Hi! I used a small bottle of this up and then I bought the full size because I loved it so much. Um, but yeah. It just went bad when I had this little bit amount of it left. Yeah, I've struggled all year to finish it up. And when I sprayed it in my finale for Finch 2020, it was bad. That is everything for this video. Oh my god, it was a long one. My camera is overheating all the time. And I'm just going to call it quit here. Hopefully I can have time today to film another video hopefully <laughs> but otherwise i'm really happy that i finally did this one i hope you enjoyed even though i know it was a long one because i am good at rambling around 
about products. If you still have any questions about some products that I mentioned in this video, please leave them down below in the comments. I will get back to you, of course. Otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed and you are going to follow along on my channel for my project pants and everything like that. I'm still going cruelty free even though I'm not focusing on a cruelty free project at the moment. And those products I really want to talk about in a video. I have gathered them all in a box over here to film next um, my non cruelty free collection. So if you are excited about that, please hang around uh, on my channel. It will mean a lot to me. And until my next one, please take care. Bye! I'm going to check out my cat because he is, he is doing naughty things. Bye!